Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel. And today I have two jewelry subscriptions to share with you. One has been sent to me for review and that is Mint Mongoose and I have some more updates for you. And then the other is Roxbox, which is a jewelry rental service that I have been using for a couple of years now. So I'll show you both collections and then you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're new to my channel, I unbox all kinds of subscriptions here, mostly lifestyle subscriptions as well as books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and the very occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, particularly subscription boxes, I do hope that you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell and that way you will find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Let's get started with Mint Mongoose today. So they are now $29.99 and I did look on their website for other updates because for the past couple of months we've just been getting two pieces and it used to be three so it is officially just two pieces so hopefully they are of slightly higher quality obviously inflation is happening everywhere even with subscription boxes so we do have to be a little bit understanding that they have had to improve Increase their price a bit, but it is a pretty significant jump. For example, my 50% off code, which is Noel50, it does still work, but it still only gets you $849 off, which was half of what the original subscription price was. I've reached out to them to ask if they could update that so it could be a proper 50% off again, but they have not gotten back to me yet, so I will definitely keep you updated if possible. Definitely check the description box and see if that has changed. And of course, if I can can, I will update it over on Instagram as well. And if you're not following me over on Instagram yet, please do. It's at Maui underscore Noel. So I was showing you that they have tucked into the little ribbon on the envelope, of course, the inspiration for this month's collection. So it says the opportunity of a lifetime only lasts for the lifetime of the opportunity. That is so true. You have to take advantage of those windows. So that is the inspiration behind the set. So let me just go ahead and read a little bit more to you. And of course, we just have this beautiful image of a little garden or a little lawn on so it says, we have been having a lot of outside time in our new home state and our kids love all the critters, frogs, crickets, cicadas, spiders, lizards, butterflies, the list goes on. But when they see a ladybug, oh man, that's an entirely different ball game. The beauty of ladybugs are undeniable, but the fact that they aren't insanely prevalent where we are makes them that much more special when the kiddos do spot them. A wise man in our lives recently shared with us some meaningful words. The opportunity of a lifetime only lasts for the lifetime of the opportunity. Opportunity. The same day, our boy Emerson found a ladybug while doing some yard work and it made his day. Something about the far and few ladybug sightings and the joy on our boy's face made me tie the two together. Too often in life, we allow opportunities to pass us by and kick ourselves later. If only I'd done XYZ when I had the chance, or if only I'd made time to call Jane Doe before she went on her trip, or if only I'd responded to the tug I felt to do this or that, I wouldn't have been wondering what if. So true. You don't want to live with those regrets. It says, when you wear this jewelry, said I hope it reminds you of the opportunities you are given each day knowing they are specific and unique to you and that you may have the gumption to take them at the right time before they pass love Helena so I love the inspiration that is one of the things about this uh, company that I will always love even if sometimes the communication is a little bit lacking I think it's just because they have made a big family move so a lot of things are in flux so inside of that little envelope of course we got our Werther's original I'm glad they haven't uh, changed that aspect of the subscription and we just have this mint tissue paper, of course, that is wrapping up our collection of two items. So I am going to use my scissors. So even though we don't have that new uh, coupon code or have it updated yet, still getting $8.50 off of a $30 subscription is not so bad. So let me see. I got one of the items out. Let me see if I can pull the other one out. Sometimes it's just faster for me because they use a little bit of glue on the tissue paper to go ahead and slice it open which is what I'll do. So yes, once again, we do have two items. It's always in a little bit of bubble wrap as well as a little plastic wrap, so everything is protected. So of course, the inspiration is ladybugs. I love this. So you do get to choose when you first sign up if you want to do gold, rose gold, or silver, and you can change around depending on what the spoiler is for the upcoming one. I usually go with gold, and I haven't uh, had a chance to uh, switch it up recently. Now, she does always include the little uh, 
rubber backers as well. So here are our super cute ladybug earrings. I'll try to maybe hold this a little further over on my finger so that it's not um, blending into my red nail polish. So here you go. You can kind of see a little bit better if I hold it a little further over. There you go. There's the little, little red ladybug. So it does have a little bit of a dangle, but you can kind of see it's not much longer than the J-hook itself. So it's not going to hang too far down. You guys know me. I do like a dangly earring. I just think it's a little bit more dramatic, but the red on these earrings is really pretty. So maybe they will still stand out in my hair. So there you can kind of see a little bit better. Hopefully maybe I can get them to stop a uh, jiggling, skittering around like ladybugs are wont to do. And then of course we also have our other piece, which I'm guessing is probably a necklace. So when we used to get three pieces, it was always a necklace, um, and earrings. Sometimes we would get a second necklace for a layered look. Now, one thing that I have been wanting them to do for a really long time is to have slightly more delicate chains because sometimes when it is a very dainty pendant, the chain feels a little bit heavy and to err on the side of a shorter chain. So we are still getting really long chains, even with a dainty little pendant. So it is the same little bead or pendant that we had on the earrings. It's not any bigger, um, but I just think that uh, this kind of design, this little dainty design would be so much better on yes, a little bit of a thinner chain, but also a shorter chain so that you could wear it more up by the clavicle. And you can kind of see, even though it does have an extender that has multiple stops on it at like one inch intervals, even if I do it at the very shortest, it's still a little bit long. Like it's still definitely going to be a little bit longer than the one that I am wearing here. So for me, that's just a little bit too long for uh, such a small pendant personally. So I'm hoping that with the change and maybe they will listen to uh, some subscribers because a lot of you have uh, concurred with me that you would prefer a shorter length chain or maybe they could even just make that one of the preferences along with the uh, jewelry tone of preference. If they could just say, you know, I prefer a shorter length chain or one that is a little bit more adjustable so you could have a longer extender length so that I had the option to wear it a little bit shorter because I do think that would be very sweet, very cute to have that little pop of red right there, but not necessarily a lot longer where it's going to have to go on the outside of your blouse, you know, and it might not uh, show up quite as well. So that was our Mint Mongoose set. Now we will talk about our Roxbox set. Now I did mention uh, Roxbox is more of a jewelry rental service. So basically you pay $21 per month to receive three pieces of jewelry. They do have a stylist that will pick for you, but you also have the opportunity to put things on a wish list. You also have the opportunity to swap things out 24 hours before they send your set. And I always love this because I can try out designers and price points that might be out of my budget otherwise and just use the pieces for as long as I would like. You just basically pay that $21 each month. If I decide to hold on to any of the pieces, they apply that $21, but it is sort of a use it or lose it situation. So sometimes if I hold on to a set and I decide to buy two or more of the items, I'll actually just wait for my next renewal basically so that I can apply that $21 to each of the pieces over the course of two to three months, if that makes sense to you guys. Now I do have a code or link for you, whatever works better. It's Noel NBFF1 and that will actually get you your first set as well as that $21 credit for free. And of course you can just hold on to those for that month and try them on. You can send them back and not have to pay anything else or you can use that $21 to maybe purchase one of the pieces. And then of course you can stay subscribed and keep switching out your jewelry as often as you would like. It's not like you're limited to once a month. I've definitely done it before. They have a very quick turnaround time where I've gotten a couple of sets within a single month because I wanted to be sure that I had something to use that credit for. So let's go ahead and take a look. I do love their new box. It is very cute. So we have a little theme going on here with our ladybugs and our bees today. So let's actually have a secret password. Let's have a bee ladybug in honor of that inspiration of taking advantage of opportunities. So if you're new to this, when you come across a secret password in one of my videos, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the Google form that's linked for you in the description box 
box below, but probably also in that first pinned comment. And then at the end of the month, I go through with a random number picker and I select a few winners to receive mystery boxes as my way of saying thank you for being subscribed and for watching my videos. You have to be 18 years or older. You have to have a US or a Canadian mailing address. And you do have to be, of course, subscribed to my channel. It is in no way affiliated with YouTube or any of the boxes that I open here on the channel. Just my way of saying thank you. So our secret password for today is Ladybug. I think that that will be the last one for the month of August. I usually go ahead and select the winners a couple days into the following month. So it looks like I think that's about 10 this month. I think there's about 10 secret passwords. Now what's also great about Rock's Box, you guys, is that they actually send you the box in a nice bubble mailer, and then you use that to send everything back that you don't want to hold on to, and they also send you a prepaid shipping label. Now the other side of this label is, of course, the uh, details about our set, and each of the items does come in its own little jewelry bag, which I think is nice. If you do hold on to one of the pieces, of course you get to hold on to the jewelry bag that comes with it. So let's see what I got this time around. It looks like I got three different pieces. I think I got two different pairs of earrings, a ring, and then there is some um, a bonus, of course, if you do decide to keep all three, I think you get an extra $10 off. You also sometimes get discounts just for being a member. Depends some of those designers they don't necessarily give you uh, much of a deal for getting it through rocks box but they always tell you what the retail price is and what the member price is so let's start with this one this says rudiment i actually have two different rudiment items they are both jewelry uh earring pieces so inside we have some plastic and then of course some bubble wrap yes there's a lot of plastic but it's good because they want to keep everything protected now i really love threader earrings and that is what these are i thought they were very pretty so it says rudiment styles are crafted with 14 karat gold and silver plated finishes so let me just show these to you on the card and i'll find out about them i think I think that these are the Perry chain drops. I'm not sure. We'll have to compare it. I got two different chain drops. Um, the retail price on one of them is 60 and the member price is 51. The retail price on the other is 65 and the member price is 55. So they are very similar. I'm going to have to look up online and see which set is which. So maybe I'll go ahead and open the other pair of rudiment earrings and we can kind of guess um, but <laughs> one is just called the Perry drops and one is called the Lombard drops so I I don't necessarily know the difference between the two maybe the one that has more gold is going to be the one that is a little a little bit pricier so here is our other set so these are kind of neat I've been getting a lot of these lately so these actually have a little snake as the stud and then the chain comes around and goes on to the backer which I just think is a really dramatic look. I think the little sparkly uh, snake there is really neat detail, which I'm not sure people would necessarily notice. And the snake even has like a green eye. So I think that's really cool actually. So let me go ahead and pull these. These are filigree earrings that I actually got in my last trip to Portugal because that is uh, the, the thing they're known there for. So let me show you one pair. You guys have to help me think of which which ones you think are which. So you can see these are the threaders. They go all the way uh, through the back. So there is a little stiffness in this chain. So you can kind of see there's some stiffness in this chain. So I'm not sure that it's going to go through my ear very well. Sometimes I have a little trouble with that because my ear hole isn't necessarily as big as it needs to be for certain gauges. But those are really pretty. So those are the ones with the intermittent sparkles on them. I do like them. I'm usually looking for something even more dramatic, but these seem like a really good everyday earring. And because the back side of it goes through all the way and there is actually a shaped hook in the center, these are ones that I feel like you could wear and not um, worry about them falling out at all. You wouldn't have to worry about the, the backing coming off. Um, you will have to see, you can see it's a little tricky for me to get them back off. So I would not have to worry about them if you wanted to I don't suggest exercising in your good jewelry, but traveling with these, they'd be really comfortable because again, then the backing isn't gonna press up against your ear at all. So that's a nice thing. Um, these are kind of cool though. Let me go ahead and try these. Sometimes these are a little bit tricky for me to figure out where the backer goes because you have to find the hole. So this is one of those ones where sometimes I have to use a mirror, 
but I think we got that. So it's a little bit of a shorter chain. I'm looking for ones that have a really dramatic chain, but I do love that little stud piece with the uh, snake. So you guys let me know. Either way, they're $51 and $55. So it's a little bit pricey. I think I would probably maybe consider the longer chain ones that have that long back piece just because they are going to show up in my hair a little bit more and I don't have to worry about uh, uh, putting the back together. This is nice though because when the back is attached, you're never going to lose the back, right? You're never going to have to replace the back. All right, so we have one more piece which is from Dusk, which is definitely one of the brands that I have gotten a lot of pieces from. I have some really pretty necklaces that I need to get back out of my jewelry case and bring them back into rotation. That's kind of one of the fun things about jewelry subscriptions as well. So obviously Roxbox is a little bit pricier, at least the pieces that I choose, but I again think it's just such a great way to get to try a little bit of nicer quality jewelry pieces and maybe add some to your collection. So here is this ring. I do love a lot of celestial styles. So sometimes though an open ring like this doesn't look great if it's a little bit snug on the finger because then I feel like my finger kind of pokes out, but I just thought this little moon and star design was really, really pretty. So this is the Remy ring. Wow, everything was like in the same price point this time. This has a retail value of $65 and the member price is $55. So I'm looking at $51, $55, and $55. So the subtotal was uh, $161. And of course I could get an extra $10 off. So, you know, it's it's still pricey. I wouldn't necessarily keep all of them. So and let me see if I, of course they do ring sizes. So you can see this does fit on my finger. I, of course, I think you can see the design a little bit better when it's on. My finger isn't necessarily like poking through the opening, which is nice. Um, it does seem like kind of adjustable in that way as well. If you had to open it up a little bit, you definitely could. I actually think that's really pretty. Um, I do like rings and earrings the most. I wear a lot of rings, uh, earrings, and necklaces. I don't wear so many bracelets. This is a fun one though. I am sort of kind of getting uh, a little full up on my ring collection, but this one seems very unique to me, so that might be my favorite piece just because in terms of the earrings, I do have other earrings that are like this with this uh, chain that connects in the back, and I do have other threader earrings, even though I do think that that uh, threader earring is really pretty. I'm just a little bit curious about the uh, quality because like I said, that chain felt a little stiff, but sometimes Sometimes you just have to like kind of uh, move that box chain around a little bit and you can already see it's already starting to dangle a little bit better but very very simple it's just got what five of these little stopper stops on it um, but it doesn't seem like it seems a little bit stiff it doesn't seem like it's a uh, it's supposed to be quite as stiff. It just might need a little bit of lubrication or something to make it dangle the way it's supposed to. Let me know though what you guys thought about both of the sets. So we got the cute little ladybug earrings matching the dainty little ladybug pendant on the kind of long, kind of bigger chain from Mint Mongoose. You can get in on the next collection, of course. And then from Roxbox, I got these two really fun sort of, I think kind of a contemporary style with the threader earrings, this one that connects in the back. And then I really like this ring. It's kind of uh, growing on me already. So let me know in the comments below which ones you would keep, which set was your favorite this time around. If you've gotten this far and you missed the secret password, you want to go back and make sure you found it. And I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.